The following program contains images of an actual surgical procedure that may be graphic and disturbing. Parents are advised that these images may not be suitable for young children. Weight loss surgeries, are they merely a trend or a vital tool in the battle against obesity? New reports show doctors are now doing more surgeries to remove or alter gastric band devices than to implant them. Now, of course, this is just one form of bariatric surgery, but what could this news tell us about the present and future of these procedures? Because, Drew, again, we're talking about a specific type of procedure within a, a large armamentarium. There, there's mul multiple options out there with bariatric surgery. When you're talking about a lap band, it's a constrictive band that's put at the top of the stomach immediately below the esophagus. Mm -hmm. It restricts how much food can pass into your stomach. Gastric sleeve, they're actually removing a portion of your stomach. It's permanent versus a lap band, which is reversible. And then finally, a gastric bypass where you're totally bypassing the stomach and part of the intestines so you can't absorb as much food, that is reversible. Much bigger procedure, uh, different complications associated with all of these options. And it's understandable, I think, why there was a bit of a craze as far as getting the lap band done. It was the That's easiest, cool. the least invasive. The wow. downside down was getting the tightness of that band right, it would either be too tight or would come apart, and then you have this band sitting in your abdominal cavity as a foreign body. So now Not it's interesting thing. that we're seeing almost the reverse, where more are getting removed than placed. And our next guest is a good example of how bariatric surgery doesn't always go exactly the way you might expect. I was always overweight. I was a lot bigger than most other kids. By the time that I hit high school, I was pushing 300 pounds. I looked into weight loss surgery. The doctor actually suggested the lap band when I first got out of surgery. I was really motivated. Within that first year, I lost 99 pounds. A year and a half in, I realized I can't eat anything. I can't drink water. I was losing weight very quickly. My hips started to sink in and my shoulders started to sink in. And you could see the ribs through my chest. They had to do some upper GI x-rays to find out what exactly had gone wrong. The band ended up twisting around and took my stomach with it, so nothing was able to pass through anymore. They ended up putting a smaller band on. Then I got pregnant with my daughter, and the day that I had her, I knew something was wrong because once again, I dropped and I dropped, and I started running fevers. I call the doctor, he does the surgery, and he said, your fallopian tube was wrapped around it and you had a massive foreign body infection. We had to take it off. So I was on four or five different high power antibiotics for quite a while. When I was at my skinniest, I met a guy and I ended up falling in love with him. About three months after I had the band taken off and I had gained about 30 pounds, he said, I'm afraid that you're gonna get back to where you were because you're putting on weight. The meanest thing he ever said was, if I were blind, I would be proposing today. I wasn't getting a ring because I was 30 pounds heavier than he wanted me to be. We broke up. I shouldn't have let him interfere with how I felt about myself. I feel like I've gotten my food addictions under control, but it's frustrating after putting in all the work with my diet and with my exercise plan, I'm left with this horrible hanging skin. I have a bodysuit that goes from my knees all the way up, up above my shoulders. In my head, it's a constant voice. Check your top, make sure it's pulled down. Check this, check that, check, 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 check. It's almost obsessive. My ultimate goal is to be able to afford the surgeries that I need to correct this. 